If someone is starting jiu-jitsu, what would be oh. the advice you give to someone who's starting jiu-jitsu white belt? Um, not to overdo it in the beginning. Okay. Because some people, they get really excited and they get addicted, right? And then you get burnt out one week training every day. So to pace yourself, right? Think of it as like a long distance run jiu-jitsu, not a sprint. So maybe if you train a week straight, you'll get further. But the person that trains two to three days a week steady, they'll get further than you because you have to stop. And we want to do jiu-jitsu our whole life, right? So it's not just a small camp or something. It's a life camp. Like you're in camp for life. So to balance yourself and do it healthy. You know, I see so many people, again, quit jiu-jitsu because they just try to sprint in the beginning. And Mike, do you think that it's important for them to find a, the right academy as well? Because sometimes what they do, they start uh, sparring in the yeah. first day. Yeah, so um, I think that for sure the energy of the gym, that was what I was already assuming was good. But uh, if you go to the wrong gym with bad energy and you train day one not knowing anything, you can get hurt, you know. And um, it's very important that you're in a gym that's safe and that the people that you're training with want to help you and make sure that you're safe, you know. Because they need to have control of their bodies. It's so dangerous to train with people that don't have control of their bodies. And when you're a beginner, you don't. So it's very important that you're with people that know how to control their bodies and that are safe and good energy. So choosing your gym right and training safe and steady. I think those are the two biggest things. And what would be a bad energy, you say, in the gym? Um, bad energy would be a gym where they just have you spar right away and they try to hurt each other and fight. You know, day one, you shouldn't be rolling and like fighting each other. Like you have no control of your body, you could fall wrong. The person doesn't know when they have a submission. So when you first start jujitsu, you're in a submission, you don't know when you're like have to tap. You just feel a pop. So it's very important that you have people that know this, control your body, because you can't control your body yet. I think that's the biggest thing. People that know how to control their body and they can control your body to keep you safe. Instead of two people that have no control of their bodies, training day one, breaking things because they have no idea what they're doing. Means that they have to learn the technique first, uh, almost like master the technique that uh, if they go for the submission, they are taking care of uh, each other. Exactly. Like you guys did today for an hour. 100%. We're just, we have full control, so we're both very safe, you know. Uh, but if you're just starting, you have no control of your body. You need to train with people that have control of their bodies that can control you, you know. Um, even for me, like if I roll, I don't like training with people that uh, don't have control of their bodies because I have to use more energy because I have to control them, mm. right? They have no control, so we have to control them. So I think it's very important learning how to control your body and then training with people that you don't have to control at first because you're a beginner, right? So I think it's an interesting concept. How about you, Kennedy? What do you think, Kennedy? About what? What is the, the, the tips would you give to uh, White Belt who's just uh, uh, starting Jiu Jitsu? Go along with Mike said. Everybody has a different body, so don't try to copy someone that maybe does like uh, every day, two times a day, or maybe, I don't know, three times a day. Uh, your body might be different, so go on your own pace, right? Feel your body whenever you start with Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, it's very important to, you gotta feel, you gotta find a place that uh, has a good environment, right? If you don't find a place that's a good environment, uh, things just gonna aggravate, right? You're not gonna enjoy first Jiu-Jitsu, you're not gonna learn, and the third, you might get hurt and you quit. And if you get hurt around the beginning, most likely you're not gonna go back to jiu-jitsu. You're gonna hate jiu-jitsu, mm. right? So you have to find a place like Mike just said, that's safe, that they know what, you're, what they're doing. So they're gonna guide you, like uh, basically gonna give you a position and also they're gonna make you uh, do that position and then later maybe a light position train for that position and then you're gonna start to understand what's, what's jiu-jitsu like. And then I think one more thing to add on is having fun. <laughs> I think that the beauty of jiu-jitsu for me and like for a lot of people, uh, working out at the gym is not fun, right? But jiu-jitsu is a cheat way to work out where you're not even thinking about working out because you're having so much fun. So I think that uh, it, you have to make sure you're having fun when you're training. If you're not having fun and you're miserable, you're just, you're, it's a workout for you. So how consistent are you gonna be if it's a workout that you're miserable doing? I gotta go work out. No, you're not gonna do it long term. But if you're having fun and you're enjoying it every day, now you're not even thinking about working out because you're learning, you're having fun, you're learning positions in Jiu-Jitsu. So for me, that's my favorite part, that it's fun, and that makes me work out way more because you're having fun, you're not thinking about working out. How they can have fun, Mike? How? I think the fun part of Jiu-Jitsu is problem solving, like puzzles. It's, it's literally a problem solved puzzle, right? You're doing an arm bar, and the person defends one way, you do something else. So it's action reaction, right? And you're constantly adding different puzzles and you have to keep solving them. Wait, I can't do my move now. What did the person just do? They reacted a different way. 
and now you have to solve how they reacted. You know, and that for me is my favorite part of jujitsu. You know, when me and Kennedy train, he gives me a thousand reactions that I have to solve on the spot. He makes the move not work anymore. And then I have to like figure out a new way for like an hour straight to solve that. And then he just instantly changes it again. And then we do it again, you know? So it's a never ending puzzle jujitsu. And I think that that is the difference and that's what makes it really fun. And you don't really feel like you're working out because you're just solving a puzzle. And this along applies to life, no Mike? 100%. <laughs> Off the mat. Agreed. 100%. What we learned here, we definitely could apply to life, you know? And that's why martial arts is so good for kids, right? Excellent. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Kennedy.